If you're like me, rust is something you're always having to deal with. And when it comes to dealing with rust, what's the most efficient and effective way to deal with it? If you don't like to use a strong acid such as muriatic acid, what other options are out there? In a previous video, we tried electrolysis and it actually did a pretty good job, but a lot of viewers suggested that molasses is a far more effective way. So today we're going to compare molasses against white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, as well as evaporust. We're gonna see how well these products work on these heavily rusted landscape spikes. These wheel stud lugs are frozen inside this plexiglass. Will they work well enough to free up the rusty wheel stud lugs? A very common question is whether or not rust removal products will cause damage to a painted surface. Well, we're about to find out. If you need to de-rust metal that has aluminum fastened to it, will these products cause damage? These are metal shavings. We're gonna find out if these products will dissolve metal shavings or if they just target the rust. The apple cider vinegar we're using is organic and it's raw and unfiltered. We're gonna see if it actually works better than white vinegar. We're going to be placing the aluminum as well as the painted steel into one of these containers. And then I'll be placing the plexiglass wheel stud lug in a separate container. We're also going to be using distilled white vinegar that has a 5% acidity. Costing under $16 for two and a half gallons, we're going to see just how well molasses works for removing rust. The most expensive product we'll be testing is Evaporust. It's supposed to be a super safe rust remover that's non-toxic, biodegradable, safe on skin and eyes, and reusable. We're also comparing it against muriatic acid, which contains 31.45% hydrochloric acid. We're going to add the muriatic acid to water anytime you're mixing chemicals. It's always good to add the chemical that you're mixing to the water, not the other way around, to avoid chemical splash and a burn. We'll check back in 24 hours to see how these products are doing. So it's been right at 24 hours. We're going to take a look at each of these products, beginning with water. As you might expect, water is probably not going to do much. Actually, water causes rust. No damage to the aluminum or the painted metal. The container holding the metal flakes looks a little bit rusty, so it appears that the water is causing some rust. It doesn't appear that the molasses has removed any rust yet. It does not appear to have caused any damage to the aluminum or to the painted steel. It doesn't look like the molasses has dissolved any of the steel flakes. I can't see that any rust has been removed from the landscape spike. Okay, looking at evaporust. Molasses is on the left and evaporust is on the right. It looks like the bolt with evaporust has done a much better job as far as removing rust. No visible damage to the painted metal or the aluminum. The container on the left has the metal flakes and water. The one on the right has the evaporust. Big difference between the two. It looks like evaporust contains a very clear liquid compared to the water, which looks very rusty. I can't really see a whole lot of progress on the landscape spike from evaporust. Looking inside the container, the fluid definitely has a lot of loose rust in it. Water's on the left and white vinegar is on the right. The water is a lot rustier compared to the white vinegar. The bolt that's been exposed to white vinegar definitely seems to have a little bit less rust than the bolt that's just been exposed to water. There doesn't appear to be any damage. Water's on the left and white vinegar is on the right, and there is a huge difference with white vinegar looking very dark. It looks as dark as the container that has molasses in it. So it looks like the white vinegar has dissolved pretty much all the metal flakes inside this container. Not a whole lot of rust has been removed from the landscape spike just yet, but it's only been 24 hours. Container with water is on the left, apple cider vinegar is on the right, and the color of the apple cider vinegar has darkened quite a bit. Both bolts look very much the same. There might be a little bit less rust on the apple cider vinegar bolt. No visible damage to the aluminum or the painted metal. I think the metal flakes are pretty much all dissolved inside the apple cider vinegar, so the acid went right to work on those metal flakes, and within 24 hours they've all been pretty much eaten up. Not a whole lot of rust has been removed from the landscape spike. Water's on the left and the muriatic acid is on the right. Wow, look at the difference between the muriatic acid and the bolt that's been exposed to water. Very little rust left on the muriatic acid bolt. The aluminum exposed to water is on the left. Muriatic acid is on the right. Look at the difference. Muriatic acid is just about totally dissolved the aluminum. It is very thin. There doesn't appear to be any damage to the painted surface yet. However, it, there is some metallic color on top, which I believe is the aluminum. Most of the metal flakes inside of this container that 
that had the muriatic acid have been dissolved. Wow, the muriatic acid has cleaned all the way down to a clean metal surface in a little area, and the rest of this rust is quickly being removed. Look at all the rust inside that container. This muriatic acid is attacking the rust with a fury. We're gonna check back in seven days to see how much rust has been removed. So it's been right at one week. Let's take a look and see how each one of these products are doing. Water's to the left and molasses is to the right. There doesn't appear to be too much difference. Evaporust is to the right and water, our control is to the left. There's a huge difference. Evaporust looks to be dissolving the rust in a very effective manner. I'm very impressed with how well it's working. It definitely seems to be doing a much faster job at removing rust than molasses. The bolt that had molasses on it is to the left. The bolt with white vinegar is on the right. There is definitely a better result from the white vinegar than there is from the molasses at this point. An apple cider vinegar is on the right and it looks like the apple cider vinegar is doing about the same as the white vinegar. Two layers of gloves on. I'm going to reach in and see how this bolt is doing that's been exposed to the muriatic acid for a week. Wow, look at that. There's definitely a lot of rust that has been removed. Using water as our baseline, molasses has definitely done a little bit of work on this aluminum. Evaporust, white vinegar, and apple cider vinegar have all done a great job cleaning the aluminum and there doesn't appear to be any loss of material. There's definitely been a lot of loss of material with muriatic acid. There's not much left. Metal exposed to water is on the left and molasses on the right. A little bit of rusting has taken place with the water, however, no sort of damage to the paint. Same thing with molasses regarding the paint, it's in good shape and no rusting. Evaporust has destroyed the paint on this painted surface and look at the paint flake that has come off. White vinegar as well, the paint is flaking off the metal. There's definitely some flaking taking place with the apple cider vinegar, but it's not as bad as evaporust or white vinegar. I'm really surprised there's not more damage to the paint on the metal that has been exposed to muriatic acid. It's such a strong and powerful acid, I really thought the paint would be flaking off. After a full week of exposure, the metal flakes are definitely rusty. You can see the water is rust colored. And of course, the flakes look like they are now all collected together in the form of rust. Lots of damage. The metal flakes exposed to molasses do not appear rusty at all. There doesn't appear to be any rust or any sort of damage to the metal flakes exposed to evaporust. Okay, lots of foam with the white vinegar. I don't think there's any metal flakes left in this. All I'm getting is just foam. I think the white vinegar has totally dissolved the metal flakes. Oh, there's not much left with the apple cider vinegar. There might be a small amount of metal flakes, but definitely very little left. The metal flakes and the muriatic acid have thinned out a lot. I'm really surprised there's anything left, but then again, I did dilute this down quite a bit with water. The water has caused more rust to occur on this landscaping spike compared to molasses. You can see a huge difference between where the molasses exposure has occurred as well as the area that has not had the exposure. Evaporust has done a very good job as well. There's definitely a lot less rust on this bolt that's been exposed to white vinegar. It's sort of hard to tell, but it appears that the apple cider vinegar is working the best so far. This nail has cleaned up very nicely, very impressive. Muriatic acid is a very effective rust removal product. Unfortunately, it'll begin rusting almost immediately as soon as it's removed from the muriatic acid. Let's take a look at each one of the products. It's been right at two weeks. Wow, there's a lot more rust that's formed on this bolt. You can see there's rust coating on top of this plexiglass. I'm gonna go ahead and dry each one of these off and see how much rust has been removed from the bolt that's been soaking in molasses. The bolt on the right has been exposed to molasses. The bolt on the left is our control exposed to water. You can see a huge difference between the two. Molasses has actually done a very good job. It's not as fast as some of the other products, but it does do a great job. Evaporust to the right, molasses on the left. There isn't that much of a difference. They both look very good. They both done a very good job at removing the rust. There's a lot of rust scale inside this container that has the white vinegar in it. This stuff has really gone to work on this bowl. The bowl to the right was soaked in the white vinegar and it's just not as good as the molasses. I'm really surprised at how well molasses has done at removing rust. Look at all the rust scale inside of this apple cider vinegar. Wow. Apple cider on the right and molasses on the left. It looks like molasses has done slightly better than the apple cider vinegar. Muriatic acid on the right, molasses on the left. I think most of the hydrochloric acid has evaporated or off gas over the last week and I don't think it's doing much more good for this bolt. Our control with the water, the blade has continued to rust. It has not done any damage to the paint. Molasses has caused the paint to start peeling on this piece of metal. Evaporust is supposed to be safe to use on painted metal. In this instance though, unfortunately, the paint has peeled.
peeled. Molasses to the left, white vinegar to the right. The amount of paint peel looks to be about the same. Definitely some paint peel caused by the apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar to the right and molasses to the left. You can see a big difference as far as paint peel. The vinegar is just far more aggressive at attacking the paint. The painted steel and the muriatic acid has not changed at all from what I can tell over the last week. So I think all the hydrochloric acid has off gassed. Aluminum soaked in the molasses all the way to the left. In the center is evaporust and to the right is white vinegar. Very little of any corrosion has occurred with the white vinegar. Molasses, white vinegar, and apple cider vinegar. If you look inside the aluminum, you can see the staining from the apple cider vinegar, but there doesn't appear to be any more corrosion with the apple cider than the other two. Apple cider on the left and muriatic acid on the right. There's a huge difference between the two. The muriatic acid has just about totally dissolved this aluminum, even though most of the acid has evaporated off. There's a trace amount in there that's still causing some erosion. Metal flakes soaked in water are just extremely rusty. You can see the color of the water is very rusty as well. A lot of metal flakes in the container that has the molasses in it. The molasses does not seem to be attacking the metal. Plenty of metal flakes left in a container with evaporust in it. Evaporust does not appear to be attacking the metal. Look at the sludge inside this container that has the white vinegar in it. Look at that. There aren't any metal flakes that I can tell at the bottom. It looks like everything has been fully dissolved and nothing is left but this white vinegar sludge. All the metal flakes inside the container with apple cider vinegar appear to have dissolved. There don't appear to be any metal flakes left in the container that has the muriatic acid in it. The spike soaked in the water is continuing to rust badly. I'm going to go ahead and dry off each one of these spikes so we can get a closer look at them. The bolt soaked in molasses you can definitely see to the bare steel. It's done a very good job. The nail on the right has been exposed to molasses. The one on the left is our control. There's a huge difference between the two. I'm very impressed with just how effective molasses has done. It's taken away all the rust. It's down to the bare steel. Evaporous to the right, molasses to the left. They've both done an extremely good job at getting rid of the rust. Look at all the buildup on this landscape spike that's been soaked in white vinegar. Wow. White vinegar to the right and molasses to the left. They both appear to have done about the same. Can we have some crusties on the side of the apple cider vinegar as well. Apple cider vinegar is to the right and the molasses to the left. Apple cider vinegar looks really, really good. It's actually begun to wick up the side of the landscape spike and clean additional rust. I can barely smell the hydrochloric acid most of this hydrochloric acid has evaporated. However, you can see it has done a great job at getting rid of the rust. Okay, it's been right at three weeks, so we're gonna see how these products are working against the rust, beginning with molasses. The bolt that's been exposed to molasses seems to have some sort of accumulation on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it off real quick and then come back and take a look at the actual metal to see how it's doing. Molasses is on the right and the water is on the left. You can see a huge difference between the two. Molasses did a really good job at removing the rust. I did use a wire brush to remove the sugar crystals or whatever had formed on the bolt that has been exposed to molasses and it really cleaned up nicely. Well, evaporust looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and we'll take a closer look at it. All the way to the right is the evaporust. In the center is molasses and the water is to the left. Both the evaporust and the molasses have done a terrific job. I'm gonna take out the bolt that's been exposed to white vinegar and see how it's doing. Water, molasses, evaporust, and white vinegar. They all look about the same as far as the amount of rust. They've all done a terrific job. So I just added the apple cider vinegar bolt to the lineup and you can see it's done a terrific job as well. Man, there's a lot of damage to this bolt that's been exposed to muriatic acid. Look at those deep pits inside this bolt. It's not just on the end of the bolt, it's actually taking place on the sides as well. Of all the products we're testing, molasses definitely does the best as far as cleaning up and making the aluminum shine. Apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, and evaporust all look to be about the same. Now that's a lot of damage. Damage. the muriatic acid just about totally dissolved the aluminum. While there's been no loss of paint on our control, there's been a lot of rusting that's taken place. The painted metal that's been exposed to molasses has definitely lost some paint, but not nearly as bad as some of the other products we've tested. The painted steel exposed to evaporust has lost nearly all of its paint. I think this must have some type of metal inside the paint, which is why evaporust attacked the paint. All right, the paint on the white vinegar is definitely bubbling up and it's peeling off very easily. So this paint has been ruined by the white vinegar. As you can see, it just came off in a big sheet. Well, wow, apple cider vinegar has totally removed all the paint as well. The painted steel exposed to muriatic acid actually has done better than most of the other products. There is a little bit of flaking, but not nearly as bad. For the metal flakes, we're gonna look at molasses and evaporust and compare it against water. All the other products destroyed the metal flake. Just about all the metal flakes in the water have turned into rust. There are still a lot of metal flakes inside the molasses. I really don't think it's caused any sort of damage to the metal flakes. The metal flakes inside the evaporust continue to look nice and clean. It doesn't appear that the evaporust is causing any harm to the metal flakes. 
The landscape spike exposed to water has continued to experience a lot of rusting. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and clean it up a bit. The landscape spike exposed to molasses looks incredible. Look how clean that is. I have to say I'm really surprised at how well it's done. That looks like a new piece of steel. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the Evaporust, Evaporust, Molasses, and our control water. Molasses has done a great job, and so has Evaporust. Just like last time, there seems to be a lot of buildup on the side of this landscape spike. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, and we'll get a closer look at it. The white vinegar has done an amazing job. This was pretty much where the vinegar level was at, but it continued to wick up the side of this landscape spike, removing additional rust. I'm going to clean up the apple cider vinegar. We're going to closer look at it. Apple cider vinegar has done an amazing job completely removing the rust from the area that's been exposed to it. Wow, that's a lot of damage. You can see how the muriatic acid has begun to destroy this landscape spike. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and we'll get a closer look at all the damage it's done. This muriatic acid has done a lot of damage to this landscape spike. All the products were allowed to fully dry, then weighed again after three weeks of exposure to the rust removal products. When it comes to value, price is a factor and white vinegar seems to be the least expensive per ounce, but it is used at full strength while molasses is typically used in one part of molasses to ten parts of water, making it cost less than one half penny per ounce of prepared solution. Muriatic acid is also typically diluted. The most expensive the product is Evaporus, but it can be used more than once. Weight loss for the bolt inserted into the plexiglass provided similar results with muriatic acid removing the most material, then the vinegars, then molasses, and finally Evaporus. The vinegars removed nearly twice as much weight as molasses and Evaporus, which is a good indicator that the vinegars removed around 2 grams of good metal. Making sense of the landscape spike weight loss is a little bit complicated since some of the products seem to only attack rust while others seem to attack metal. Also, some of the products climb the landscape spike to remove more material than other products. Muriatic acid clearly ate away some good steel. White vinegar climbed up the landscape spike the most and apple cider vinegar did as well. Evaporust and molasses were very close. Another way to look at rust removal is to consider the weight loss per length of material exposed to the rust removal product. From this perspective, white vinegar and apple cider vinegar provided nearly equal weight loss, which likely included good metal, not just rust. Evaporust and molasses showed a little bit less loss per millimeter than the acid. Muriatic Muriatic acid just about totally dissolved the aluminum, but the other products did not appear to cause any erosion. The very small weight loss with white vinegar and evaporust was likely surface contamination on the aluminum that just dissolved. So which type of rust removal product is best? Well, that really depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you're not worried about metal loss, the acids do a terrific job and they're also very affordable. If you are worried about metal loss, you might want to consider using either evaporust or molasses. In my opinion, molasses is the best choice if you have the time to wait. It takes about three weeks in order to get a really good result, and the results are very impressive because it does not appear to attack the steel. I just want to say thank you to everyone that suggested this video idea. I read and reply to just about every comment, and I really look forward to reading your ideas. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.